Speed Reviews. Tom, this is the top ten video games representing the Swedish. Guys, you ever go on game FAQs, you're going to find classic lists all like this. Alright, let's start it out. Number ten, Volvo, the game. Uh, in this game, you are a Volvo named Volvo, and you have to revolvo your wheels down to the nearest Volvo station so you can get more gas for your Volvo Auto Volvo machine, Mobile. It gets a, a 9 out of 10. Uh, the Getaway, PS2. Uh, apparently this game represents Sweden because of Sobs being in it? That's stupid. Remember everyone was talking about The Getaway? I don't care about this game. 1 out of 10. They can suck it. The Sims 2 for H&M fashion stuff. Uh, the HMF Huff, Huff and Stuff... <laughs> It is a popular children's show, and in this game, you can build Sims of all your favorite cartoon pals. It's a 7 out of 10. Number 7, The Sims 2 Ikea home stuff. I got an Ikea. Shut the F up. 2 out of 10. World Rally Championship, the international Swedish rally. It sounds like it would be a pretty sweet game if you did it right. I'm going to give it a preemptive, like, 8 out of 10. Uh, Scania Truck Driving Simulator, the game. As some people might not know, Scania is another name for Saab. It's actually another company that Saab owns. Huh. Yeah. Uh, it gets a truck out of ten. Uh, four, Need for Speed for a Koenigsegg CCX. Uh, I guess there's a Koenigsegg CCX in this game. Uh, I have no idea what that They're is. They're actually pretty cool. I just can't pronounce them. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's pretty rad. It's and really cool. it gets a nine out of ten. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 2 for Xbox. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 2 is you race all the different Batmobiles. Which one's the fastest? I hear it's the Tumbler, but also it's the one from Batman Forever, though, actually. Maybe secret. it's the helicopter. Who knows? This is the best game ever even imagined. It's not the game we deserve, but it's the game we need right now. 10 out of 10. FIFA Street. Uh, you have to go down to FIFA Street because you accidentally double parked, and you accidentally parked all over a soccer goal, and your car, your Volvo car, is now the world's best goalie because it keeps those balls from <laughs> It's a 7 out of 10. And last but not least, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Need for, for Speed Hot Tony. Pursuit is a game where you're playing as a furry who likes to go and eat Hot Pockets. It's the world's greatest game. It's got Koenig's eggs in it, which is the kind of egg that people in furry suits like to jump out of when doing Lady Gaga impressions. 0 out of 10. Guys, we did it. We again. did it. Uh, I'm scared. I, don't, I hear it, but I don't know what it could possibly be. It's Speed, speed reviews. reviews. Is what it is. Oh my goodness gracious, Guys, I can't today's believe list. it is the top 10 games developed by Atlas. Where's my Atlas? I don't know where I'm going. Guys, the first game, Catherine. Uh, Catherine, in this game, you play as Catherine the Great, and she's the greatest Zarya that Russia ever had, so she gets a 9 out of 10. Jack Bros! Jack Bros. Me and Dee used to be called the Jack Bros, you know. And it was, uh, it was some rough times. Right, ladies? Yeah. 10 out of 10 for a game about us. Shin Megami Tensei, Digital Devil Saga. Uh, in this game, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind, and he was willing to make a deal. He gets a 7, he gets a 6, 6, 6 out of 10. Uh, Power Instinct. Power Instinct uh, is the champion of the world's most generic name, and as such, it won uh, the ability to be the name of my metal band. Uh, 10 out of 10. Etrian Odyssey. Uh, this is the Odyssey of a small uh, tree in... And uh, I don't know what a train is, but I'm sure he had a fun adventure. Uh, four out of ten. Trauma Center, Under the Knife. Trauma Center, Under the Knife is a game where you're a uh, surgeon. And uh, I guess you cut people up. Ten out of ten. Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor. A lot of devils in this one. Uh, in this one, you have to do more devil-related things. And it's a devil of a game. It gets a six, six, six out of ten. Dungeon Explorer. Dungeon Explorer won the award for the most clearly described game in history. There is nothing else you do in this game but explore dungeons. I can't give it anything lower than a 10 out of 10. Radiant Historia. Radiant Historia is a lot less of a game and a lot more of a treatise on the history of the study of light and photon particles. It's very in-depth, very interesting. I highly recommend it. It's a 9 out of 10. Last but not least, Shin Megumi Tensei, Persona 4. Persona 4, a lot of people don't know, is the retelling of Abraham Lincoln's love life with his first girlfriend, Persona. 10 out of 10. Guys, we did it once. We did it. For again. Speed, Speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games developed by Hudson Soft. Hudson Soft. Number 10, Nuts and Milk. Nuts and Milk. Nuts and Milk. There are two dudes who like nuts and milk. Actually, I don't... I think there's a banana in it, too. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, 10 out of 10. Tetris Party! Uh, in this game, you have a party, but there are too many people, so you have to maneuver all your four-block met- your four-block plans into one room so that everybody fits. 
Uh, gets a 7 out of 10. Military Madness. We don't make jokes about PTSD. 1 out of 10. Load Runner. Uh, Load Runner. In this game, you're uh, playing as the Load Runner, and you have to run away from uh, Lily Gliotti. Uh, he's going to try and eat you, and it's bad news. Gets a 5 out of 10. Pokemon Trading Card Game. Really like this game a lot. Legitimately great game. I think there's two came out somewhere, too. Uh, 10 out of 10. Mario Party. Uh, in this game, Mario is actually playing Tetris Party because he has too many guests at his ha- at his party, so he has to cram all his little toadstool friends into one room and make sure they all fit. 7 out of 10. Newtopia. Utopia is the name of a kind of bad episode of Futurama from the most recent season. It was pretty, it was like a 4 out of 10. Stop the Express. You have to stop the Express because if you don't, the espresso machine is going to boil over and it's going to make a big mess and it's not going to be pleasant. Gets a 9 out of 10. Boomer Man. Boomer Man is Bomber Man's cousin who likes to... Well, he also likes bombs. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's before it's time. 10 out of 10. Tengai Makyo Ziria. Uh, Tengai Makyo Serial is a game where you play as the Tengai Makyo Serial Corporation and you have to make uh, Cheerios... And all your favorite cereals, and sell them to all your Japanese friends. It's a Japanese word for 10 out of 10. We and did it! I, I think that's the end of the show, then. I don't think we have any more business to do. No, care. you idiot. What? We need to do speed reviews. S- speed reviews? Speed reviews. Tom, this week's speed reviews are the top 10 overlooked GBA games. What? GBA meaning Game Boy Advance. Alright, number 10. Rayman 3. Rayman 3 is a game in which you're Rayman 3 and you have three arms that aren't attached to your legs or something and you go around and you collect apples or some junk. I don't know what this game's about. One out of ten. Broken Sword. The Shadow of the Templars. Uh, this was the first Assassin's Creed game. You're playing as Ezio Autori and you got a broken sword. You're still gotta try to stop the Templars because they're bad guys. It's a seven out of ten. Uh, Kolonoa 2 Dream Champ Tournament. Kolonoa 2 Dream Champ Tournament. He plays a cat man with a fun hat. He was defending his title as Dream Champ. So, 2 out of 10. Ninja 5 0. Uh, in this game, you're playing as the Ninja Police. You are simultaneously ninjas and policing ninjas to make sure that the law of Ninja City is followed. You get the Ninja out of 10. Uh, Choo Choo Rocket. In this game, you're playing as the Choo Choo's, which is a terrorist organization which is going to take down cat trains or something. One out of ten. Poyo Pop. Uh, Poyo Pop is the game based off a of popular popsicle. Uh, you choose all your favorite flavors and you eat them up, but don't get brain freeze. Uh, it's a two out of ten. Car Battler Joe. Car Battler Joe is a game about a man who can't stop fighting cars. Fist fights cars. Goes out in the street and kicks them, punches them, always loses though. He gets hit by them. 10 out of 10. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. Uh, in this game, you're playing as uh, Maximilian Rogue Spear back during the French Revolution, and you have to stop all the riots from being Tom Clancy on your Rainbow Six. It's a 5 out of 10. Scourge Hive. What? No. 3 out of 10. Wade Hickston's Counterpunch. Wade Hickston's Counterpunch is a game that's like if you wanted to play. Like Wade Hicks and countering the punches, and you're gonna go down in history as the best boxer of all time. <laughs> and it's a ten out of ten. We and did that's it. it, guys. Is it another plug? Mm, no, it's it's a is little it thing we like to call speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top ten games developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer. That's a weird name. It sure is. Number 10, Samurai Champloo, Sidetracked. Samurai Champloo was an anime where you play as samurais and they go around chopping up them meijis, dudes. That's how you do it. Rona Kenshin, uh, Samurai Champloo, great. 10 out of 10. Michigan. Uh, in this game, you play as the state of Michigan. Well, it's actually called Sim Michigan because you it's, Sim, it's the Sim version of Michigan. You get to control all the industry, like fishing and the auto stuff. Uh, gets a 9 out of 10. Uh, number eight, No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. No More Heroes 2 is a game where you still have heroes, because it's the second one, I guess. I guess at the end of the series, they're just going to get rid of all the heroes. But since they haven't fulfilled their promise yet, they get a one out of ten. Shining Soul 2. I had a real trouble playing this game because the show, the soul was just so bright. It just shined so terribly. I really hope they would have improved that from the first one, but they just, they just didn't. So I'm going to give it a four out of ten. Uh, zero... 
Tsukam, Tsukahami no Kamen. Kamen Rider is a superhero from Japan. He wears a helmet and he fights bad guys. 10 out of 10. Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, in Lollipop Chainsaw, you are Paul Bunyan and you're controlling the world's least effective piece of logging equipment. Because then you can't lick it because it'll cut your tongue off. Uh, it's a 6 out of 10. Number 4, Shadows of the Damned. Shadows of the Damned is a game where you play as a guy. Uh, it's not doing so hot. I would, I would say it's probably damned. So it's not going to go great. 1 out of 10. Contact. Uh, in this game, you have to try and find your contact lens because you accidentally dropped it and you use the DS stylus to lift up pieces of rubble to see if you can find your contact lens. It's a 7 out of 10. No More Heroes. No More Heroes is the uh, start of the No More Heroes saga, which they still have heroes, so it's not doing so hot, I guess. So 3 out of 10. Killer 7. Killer 7. This is a game about killing 7. Why was 6 afraid of 7? Because 7, 8, 9. It's a 7, 8, 9 out of 10. We did, we did it. it. Yeah, we got sent something. Uh, we got sent a, a care package from the future. Yeah, they they want us to try out some of these uh, Wii U games, and well, but, but but we're all, uh, we're kind of running low on time here. So we maybe... don't really do previews. What we do is speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is what what I'm guessing you people are, are the top ten most anticipating Wii U games. Tom, number ten, Rayman Legends. Rayman is a character who doesn't have arms or legs, and for some reason he survived this long. I don't know why. One out of ten. Dragon Quest Ten. In this game, you have to travel the land to try and figure out the answer to the gra- dragon's question. It's not. It's not easy to figure out, but once you fi- once you find the answer, it's satisfying. It's ten out of ten. Uh, the Wonderful One Hundred One. Wonderful One Hundred One is, I guess, a couple of words they put together uh, to make a title. I can't even imagine what this game is about, but I played it. Ten out of ten. Bayonetta Two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being at 2 2. 11 out of 10. Uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Monster Hunter 3 is a game you play as Monster Hunter, who's a man who likes fishing. He plays and he runs around and he does backflips whenever he feels like it. That's because he's great. 10 out of 10. Pikmin 3. Uh, in, in Pikmin 3, you have to pick the three men <coughs> who are there, and you, well, you have to pick the theremin and the uh, Beach Boys. Uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, number four, Zombie You. We talked about this in the last episode, guys. It looks really great. You play as a British guy with a fun hat who's going to turn into a zombie and be mad at you. Uh, ten, ten. New Zombie Super Mario Bros. You. And New Zombie Super Mario Bros. You. <laughs> it's not even announced yet. <laughs> the the rare crossover combination between the hit new game Zombie You and Super Mario Bros. Will you be able to escape Zombie Bowser and his zombie mushrooms from taking over the zombie kingdom? Who knows? Uh, gets a U out of ten. Legend of Zelda Wii U. Legend of Zelda Wii U is a game that doesn't exist, but it will exist, and you're going to get a horse, and you're going to look at your horse with your other screen. It's going to be great. 5 out of 10. Super Smash Bros. 4. I'm excited to play Super Smash Bros. 4 because of the new characters they added, like Crash Bandicoot, Sonic the Hedgehog's friend Sonic, and the American flag. Get that 10 out of 10. We did it! Speed Reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games developed by Square. Also known as Square Soft or Square Enix. Cruise Chaser Blasty. Cruise Chaser Blasty is a fun name. If you ever thought about naming your dog Blasty, don't stop. Because Cruise Chaser Blasty is the game for you. 10 out of 10. Seiken Denetsu 3, also known as Secret of Men. Uh, Secret of Seiken Denetsu is a game where you have to find the secret of the Seiken Denetsu, and you're the only one capable of doing it because I can't read Japanese, so you're going to have to do it for me. Uh, gets a 3 out of 10. Uh, Super Mario RPG 11 Silver Stars. Super Mario RPG is a game where Mario stops messing around. He gets a rocket propelled grenade and he kills that effing turtle once and for all. 10 out of 10. Final Fantasy 10. Uh, Final Fantasy 10, you take a nap and then you travel into your own dream, but then you get really tired, so you take a nap in your dream nap, and then it's a constantly circle nap dreaming worlds. Uh, gets a 9 out of 10. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is a game where you're playing as Disney Man and you're driving to Disneyland with your family and you're going to have a great time, but I hate it. It's a 1 out of 10. Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 is ironically not the Final Fantasy, despite what is said on the little title. There are actually many more uh, fantasies to come after this one, so it gets a 1 out of 10 for why. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is a game in which a gun has a trigger that sends people back in time and all the hijinks that get caught up with that. 5 out of 10. Final Fantasy 6. Clowns. It's 5 out of 10. Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my favorite games of all time. Play it for the PSP because that's the best version of it. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. 10 out of 10. Final Fantasy 7. Uh, nothing to hate here. This is a game that people really hate a lot of for no reason. (laughs) 
Uh, it gives a 10 out of 10 as far as well, I'm that's concerned. Speed but reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games developed by Neverland. Neverland Ranch? No, just Neverland, period. Great. Number 10, Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. Lufia and the Fortress of Doom is a story about my first dog who went to a funny dog house and then he was, you know, he was doomed from the beginning. They had dog leukemia all over the place. Number nine, Zima the Enemy. By the way, that's for a time. Uh, Zima the Enemy is an alcoholic tale about how he must overcome his addiction to Zima. It's a very heartfelt game. It's an 8 out of 10. Record of Lodos War, number 8. That is a classic anime featuring a lady probably in a bikini. I don't know. I think there's space there too, but it's yeah, there's ju- space. just totally. great. Uh, bikini space, 7 out of 10. Chaos Seed. What on earth is this seed going to plant? Is it going to be corn? Is it going to be tomatoes? Play Chaos Seed and find out. 10 out of 10. Perfect game. Energy Breaker. Energy Breaker is the precursor to a regular Jawbreaker, and that was just a lot of work to open this thing up, so it gets a 1 out of 10. Shining Force EXA. Shining Force EXA is the sequel to Shining Force AXE, which is also known as Shining Force Axe. In this game, you hold the axe backwards, and it's very dangerous because you can't chop down trees like that. It gets a 2 out of 10. Luf, number th- four, Lufia, Curse of the Sinistrals. Lufia, Curse of Blah Blah, is, is the story of my first dog and the time that I broke a light bulb on the floor and had to walk across it. It was very dangerous, but it also died. Uh, I had a lot of first dogs. No, 10 out of 10, Rune Factory Frontier. Uh, in this game, you uh, try to build up a ruined factory out on the frontier so you can make cowboys. Uh, gets a 5 out of 10. Number two, Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. What is this, a list of Rune Factories? No, one out of ten. Luffy 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. No, seriously, this is just a Luffy list. I have never heard of any of these games before. I've heard of Luffy. I have not. It's a one out of ten, because it's number one on the list. <laughs> there we go, guys. We, we did. did it. Do you know what I love? Cutting me off? Uh, Ruining yeah. my, my textbook perfect segue? Actually, yes. That is kind of, it, if, you, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, it's kind of my thing. Oh, I figured it out long ago, friend. You know what I figured out how to do? What did you figure out how to do? Speed Speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top ten games developed by Natsume. Natsume. The final speed review of 2012. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. Tom, number ten. Harvest Moon, My Little Shop. Harvest Moon, My Little Shop is a game based off Little Shop of Horrors. And you're all like, Seymour, feed me. Ten out of ten. Abadox, The Deadly Inner War? Uh, this sounds like a very painful and very confusing game. It's a 1 out of 10. Wild Guns. Wild Guns is the prequel to Wild Arms. That one RPG for the PS1 that everyone liked, I guess. And they made some more of them. I don't know. 10 out of 10. Is it actually a prequel to that game? No, I made that up. Shin Kudu Senshi Gundam W Endless Duel. This is a quality game uh, that Tom and I actually did play, and we liked a lot. Uh, 9 out of 10. Metabots, Meta B. Metabots is one of those things that kids like to play when they have nothing else to talk about and they ran out of stuff with Pokemon or something. I don't know. It's a 1 out of 10. Metabots AX, Meta B version. Uh, Metabots AX, Meta B version is the game where there are too many M's and too many Metabots and you gotta find a way to catch all your Metabot friends. It's a 7 out of 10. Shadow of the Ninja. Shadow of the Ninja is a game about the least interesting part of a ninja. It's Shadow. Uh, there's no weapons, there's no, like, cool faces, they don't say anything. It's just dark, who cares? One out of ten. Power Blade. Power Blade is another word for chainsaw. And this game, you have to use your Power Blade to help keep your lawn looking fresh and trim. It's a seven out of ten. Harvest Moon, Frantic Farming. Uh, back in uh, grade school, I used to have a case of Frantic Farming, and I got sent to the principal. It's not a good memory. Two out of ten. Omega Five. I, you thought you could only have one Omega, but then you got five right there. And then you had four Calling Birds, three French Hens, two Turtle Doves, and the Archers and Pear Tree. Gets a 12 Days of Christmas out of 10. We did it! Guys, that's the end of the year! Happy New Year! Also, Happy Holidays before. You know how the Suns dig and what they dig. They dig the same things as you. They dig Speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this... The first speed review of 2013. Whoa! Whoa! Top 10 games developed by Westwood Studios. Westwood. Su Su Studio. All right, number 10, Knox. Knox is a story about Fort Knox, the fort where all the gold in the world comes from. So 10 out of 10. Command and Conquer Renegade. Uh, in this game, you command and all of the renegades, but then you also conquer the renegades, and then you renegade who had it made. Uh, gets a 6 out of 10. Uh, young Merlin. Merlin, man. 
He's watching you. Ten, ten. Um, Earth and beyond. Well, you start at Earth, then you go beyond Earth. Nine out of ten. Blade Runner. You're Harrison Ford. Wait, and you're they gonna, made a Blade Runner game? You're going to chase down all those blades with a blade, hitting blades, and there's running, too, so I don't like that. One out of ten. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun was originally called Command and Conquer Siberian Sun, but after it's they had a feud part. with... But after they had a feud with the S Corporation, they were only allowed to use one S in their title, and they chose to make up a fun word. Get a Tiberian out of ten. Uh, Dune 2, Building of a Dynasty. This is the prequel to Dynasty Warriors, where you're just making China. You know, it's great. 8 out of 10, Dragon Strike. Uh, in this game, the dragons throughout the land have gone out on strike. And you, as the brave questing knight, how are you going to impress the princesses if the dragons aren't working? So you have to sit down with those dragons and figure out this labor dispute. Uh, gets a collective bargaining out of 10. Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer is an overhyped game because it got so many awards for being the most descriptive and accurate title of all time. So I have to give it an accurate uh, score, so 10 out of 10. Command and Conquer Red Alert. Uh, in this game, uh, you have to figure out where red is, uh, and uh, your rival blue is going to get you with his Pikachu. And uh, you have to use your bubble sword because uh, lightning is weak against plants. It's a 10 out of 10. We did it! Guys! 2013 Years of the Snake! Guys, since we talked about the possible applications of teleportation in the field of produce management, that means it's time for one thing. That's right, speed Speed reviews. reviews. Guys, this is the top 10 internet sensations that turned into video games. I'm taking this list with a grain of salt. Scrape in that battle. (laughs) Scrape in that barrel. Grain of salt. That's what I'm doing. Tom, number 10 is the Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch. Was the Blair Witch first on the computer? Because I don't think computers were around when this movie came out. I give this a 1 out of 10 because the movie was stupid and I never saw it. I'm never going to see it. It's a scary movie. Here's something I'm not even going to want to say. We should just skip this one. Coney 2012 Catch Joseph Coney, which I have no idea what this is. I feel like oh, it's this, an iPhone game. I feel like this wasn't done in extremely poor taste, so I'm going to give it a 2012 out of 10. Uh, number 8, crossover titles by Capcom inspired by internet fan fiction. Uh, I don't know which game they're specifically referring to. Oh, they're referring to stuff like Tekken versus Street Fighter and stuff like that. I think those are great. 10 out of 10. Yo, Tom, I've read some fan fiction in my time. Wow! Uh, all right. Hatsune Miku Project Diva Series. This is another game that showcases just how weird Japan is all the time. Gets a Japan out of 10. Uh, number six, South Park. South Park's a popular cartoon for adults who like cursing, but also things that are for kids and stuff. And I guess farms or something, I don't know. Uh, it gets 100 out of 10. Happy Tree Friends, false alarm. You got Happy Tree Friends, and somebody pulled the fire alarm in their school, so they gotta go outside, stand in the cold, until the fire marshal says they're allowed to come back inside. It's a 5 minutes out of 10. Uh, number four, Penny Arcade Adventures on the Rain Slick Precipice of the Darkness Trilogy. Gets a major deduction for having too long of a name. Another deduction for making you have to say that name. Gets a one out of ten. Sorry, guys. Crazy Frog. Crazy Frog Racer. Uh, I didn't think... I thought after his last DVR they didn't let Crazy Frog back behind the wheel, but I guess they did. So I guess it gets a not guilty out of ten. Uh, number two, Slender Man. <laughs> Slender Man is a game where you lose weight and it's on the Kinect, but nobody likes it because it's a Kinect game. Screw that. But you take pictures of really Slender Man and you get a little bit of a activity downstairs. One out of ten. Neon Cat. Neon Cat Adventures. Do you like cats and Pop-Tarts and rainbows? Then I have the game for you. It's called Pop-Tart Cat Rainbow Adventure. You just this made game it. sucks. <laughs> get, to, get to zero out of ten. And that's it, guys. Why am I not already doing speed Speed reviews? reviews. Tom, this is the top ten list of games developed by Rockstar North. I can't believe it. Number ten, Manhunt. This is the game where you're the first person who ever made manwiches. And people are looking for you because that's a tasty sandwich. It's not a regular, Joe. It's sloppier. Manwich, ten out of ten. Body Harvest. In this game, you get to play as old Jeb McGillicuddy, and you have to check on your body harvest to make sure that the farm makes it the loan payment this month. It gets a 7 out of 10. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and, this is... and Grand Theft Auto Vice City at the same time. What? Uh, these are two games that are Grand Theft Auto 3, but for some reason they're not called that, so it gets a 3 out of 10. Grand Theft Auto PC. Uh, in this game, you are getting, you're getting arrested for Grand Theft Auto, and you better have a good defense attorney, or else you're going to wait for jail for a long time. 
gets a 7 years out of 10. Oh, sorry. Space Station Silicon Valley. Space Station Silicon Valley is a game where you are a bunch of animals inside of a space station, except... Wait. That is what it is? 10 out of 10. It sounds great. Lemmings. Life gives you lemmings. You make lemming aid. Gets 10 out of 10. Uniracers. Uniracers is a game where you're on a unicycle and you race. Uh, that... Oh, that is what that is? Uh, 10 out of 10. Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, the fourth count of Grand Theft Auto, and, uh, you really need to get a good, uh, attorney, or else you are going away for a very, very long time. Gets four life sentences out of ten. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto 3 is a game where you got three life sentences, and that's it. It's a real boring game. It's one of those games you relax in jail in. Red, uh, three out of ten. Red Dead Redemption. Cannot sing of this game's praise enough? Gets an eleven out of ten. And that's it, guys. We, we call it Speed, Speed Reviews. Reviews. Tom. This is the top ten wintry worlds from video games. Great. Perfect for, for the winter. the themes, right? Well, we said we... Yeah, themes, fine. Or no, whatever. it's... Ga- well, whatever. Games with fun winter worlds. Yeah, there we go. Number ten, World of Warcraft, Mountains of Thunder. World of... War- well, I don't know if we should mention the song. World of Warcraft is a game we just talked about where you grind and you grind and you grind and you make stuff out of those grinds. Like a 50-50 backside flip. Ten out of ten. Tales of Symphonia. Uh, in this game, you make a symphony by pulling on dog tails, and depending on which dog you pull on, it makes a different pitch spark. Uh, they banned this game. The, the ASPC was not a big fan, so it gets a banned out of 10. Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade Chronicles is not Xenosaga, and so I was confused for a while, so it gets a 1 out of 10. Metroid Prime. Uh, in Metroid Prime, you learn all about prime numbers. 1, 2, Two is a prime. Two is a prime number. It's only divisible by itself and one. Oh, God. Gets a t- two out of ten. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest is a game where you conquest things as Diddy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it, what, you might be like, where does this happen? Happens in Donkey Kong Country. Best title ever. Ten out of ten. Fable 3. Uh, this is the third Fable. It's the tortoise and the hare. Gets a three out of ten. Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 is a game we play as 64 Marios at the same time. They do jumps and flips and they go, hoo, ha, ha, and stuff like that. 10 out of 10. Viva Piñata. Arriba! Viva Piñata es un video juego con, uh, juego con un piñata. Uh, recibe un seis de tuyos. Uh, Final Fantasy V. Final Fantasy V is a game that nobody played because it came between 2 and 3, which is actually 4 and 6, so I don't know what it does. It gets a 1 out of 10. Banjo Kazooie. Could any music sound better than a banjo played with a kazooie? I don't think so. 10 out of 10. And we, we did, did it! it. We're going to appreciate you by giving you some of the speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games developed by Firaxis. Are you sure it's not Firaxis? Yes. Uh, Sid, number 10, Sid Meier's Railroads. This is a game where Sid Meier is riding on the railroad all the live long day, and he's just giving you that coal. He's delivering the coal. I don't know what else trains do but coal and steam. 10 out of 10. Sid Meier, Civilization Revolution. In this game, Sid Meier has to stop a revolution from destroying civilization. See how he uncovers the horrible truths about the secrets behind the government's things. Uh, gets a 7 out of 10. Uh, number 8, Sid Meier's Gettysburg. This game is the, the Gettysburg of Sid Meier's life, where he had to deal with both sides of his psyche. The grays and the blues. Which side won? It's kind of like history. 10 out of 10. Sid Meier, Civilization 5. Uh, in this game, Sid Meier has to deal with all of the civilization uh, that he saved in, civil, in Civilization Revolution. But now there's a five whole new civilizations that he has to deal with, and he has to figure out what he's even going to do. It's a five out of ten. Number six, Sid Meier's Pirates. This is the game where Sid Meier learns how to pirate video games on the internet. What is the first thing he downloads? Medieval 2. One out of ten. Sid Meier's Sim Golf. Uh, in Sid Meier's Sim Golf, Sid Meier takes the time out of his busy schedule to learn golf. Uh, it's a pleasant experience. It's a 9 out of 10. Number 4, Sid Meier's Civilization 4. Civilization 4 is the only Civ game I actually played, and it was really fun. Gets a uh, 8 out of 10. Sid Meier's Civilization 3. Uh, Civiliza- Sid Meier's Civilization 3 is where Sid Meier uh, does all the things he did for Civilization 5, except 2 less. So it's a 3 out of 10. Number 2, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. This is a game I actually want to try out. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, I give it a 0 out of 10, though, because it sucks. What? Uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. This was a really good game. I really like this game a lot. Period. <laughs> Uh, gets a 10 out of 10. And we that's it, guys. Eat reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games for fans of George R.R. R. Martin. Martin. Number 10, Games of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a game about Games of Thrones, which is a game that's also a show. It's a show about a game, 
I guess. I don't, I don't. It's too confusing. Five out of ten. Baldur's Gate. Uh, in this game, you have to get across, get get through Baldur, uh, a gate made out of boulders. It's really hard. It's not really a gate. It's just kind of like an avalanche. It's kind of sitting there. So you have to figure out your way around it. I get seven out of ten. The uh, the Metal Gear Solid series. You say Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid One was terrific. Ten out of ten. Dishonored. Dishonored was also terrific. Nine out of ten. Vagrant Story. You're a homeless man wandering around trying to make a living with your dog Blue. That's pretty good. It's really deep. Seven out of ten. The Elder Scrolls Five. Skyrim. Uh, and this you got your Elder Scrolls. You got to be real careful because they are old. And if you like, if you bump them, they're gonna tear apart and it would be real bad. Uh, it's a five out of ten. Warcraft Three: Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne. This game's about Freya and how we weep upon her frozen throne. And it's the greatest song in the world. Also, you know, a bunch of lyrics and stuff. It's a really good song. So ten out of ten. Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, in this game, you have to fight against the Final Fantasy, which is uh, the fantasy that uh, the final finality of fantasies will tactically final you. It's a four out of ten. Uh, number two, Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins is a game that was very disappointing, and I don't like it very much. I would give it a f- three out of ten. The Witcher. Uh, wait, which Witcher are they talking about? Because they say Witcher, but it could be which it could be Witcher two or Witcher one. It's a which which two out of ten. We did reviews. Tom, this is the top ten games for fans of Cormac McCarthy. Who's Cormac McCarthy? I have no idea. He's a literary guy, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, number ten, Killer Seven. Killer Seven is a game where you do all the seven deadly sins, like sloth, lust, greed. The all the all the hits are here. Ten out of ten. Hitman. Hitman. You hit that man. Just don't stop. You got a baseball bat, a golf club. It's all good. Just just keep on hitting him. It's seven out of ten. Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus takes place near that one thing that's called the Colossus of whatever that place is. I don't know anything about this game. One out of ten. Limbo. Uh, you gotta. It's a game where you gotta bend backwards. It's like one of the best Connect games ever I've ever seen. Bend backwards, try to walk under the v- virtual bar, but you can't let your back touch the ground. Uh, gets a two out of ten. Uh, Vagrant Story. Vagrant Story was a risky uh, SquareSoft game where you play as a hobo named. Uh, Hobo Joe, and he's got a dog named Blue. 10 out of 10. Planescape Torment. Uh, in this game, your plane is trying to escape the torment of being stuck on the runway, and the pilots are taxiing around, but there's no takeoff time. It's, it's way too stormy out. Uh, gets a, it gets a delayed out of 10. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII is a game where you squall Lionheart, and you got that other girl, and you're doing some other stuff, and there's that one girl's really hot, and there's probably some acting or something. I don't know. 9 out of 10. Final Fantasy VI. Uh, in this game, you're fighting against clowns. More clowns. It's an evil circus, and it's spooky, and it gets a, a big top out of 10. Uh, number two, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is a game I've never heard about. It probably takes place in Las Vegas. It's probably people falling over all the time. America's Finest Home Videos in Fallout 1 out of 10. Red Dead Redemption. Like one of the best games ever made. 10 out of 10. We hey guys, we did it. You know what the people love, though? Well, they love a lot of things. But one thing in particular, you know what they love? Is it about us? Yeah. Oh, well, it's gotta be Speed, Speed Reviews. Reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 indie games of 2012. No way. Number 10, My Asmata. That is a game where you uh, doing 10 out of 10. FTL, Faster Than Light. FTL Fast and Light is a game where you play as Freddie Mercury and you're gliding at the speed of sound and you're going to make a supersonic man out of yourself. It's a 10 out of 10. Bleed. Oh, Bleed is a game where you shoot stuff and they bleed. Pretty much the most realistic game I've ever heard of. A lot of bleeding, a lot of blood, 10 out of 10. Fortune Summoners, Secret of the Elemental Stone. Uh, in this game, you use the power of the Elemental Stone to summon Pat Sajak and Vanna White, but then you have to play their terrible, horrible devil game and figure out what is the capital of Nigeria when by Bows. It's a ding out of ten. Uh, Fez. Fez is a game that's not about hats. I was disappointed. Can't believe you didn't take up this obvious opportunity for hat games. One out of ten. Mainichi. Main, Mainichi. Next. <laughs> Number four, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor is a game about the band Survivor and all their hit songs. Like that song I can't remember. What was the song about Survivor? Uh, I am the tiger. tiger. Ten out of ten. Hotline Miami. Uh, this game actually looked like a lot of fun. I really wish I had played it, but it's like super eighties ultra hyper violence. So it gets a nine out of ten. Uh, number two, Legend of Grimrock. Legend of Grimrock is about the new style of rock called Grimrock. It's like emo but slower and more awesome. Ten out of ten. Journey. 
Uh, Journey is a lot like that Survivor game that Tom talked about, except for Journey. So it's got all of Journey's greatest hits. Separate Ways, uh, Don't Stop Believing, other songs. Wheel in the Sky. Wheel in the Sky, thank you. Uh, So it gets a uh, quadruple platinum out of 10. Hooray! Guys, we did it. And so, because you listen to our opinions, it's time for us to give you our fastest way of giving you opinions. What's that? Speed Speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 PSP demos. Sounds great. Number 10, No Heroes Allowed. No Heroes Allowed is a game about a place where no heroes are allowed, only villains, and it's got the Joker, and it's got the Penguin, and only Batman once, though. I guess it's a Batman game. One out of ten. Half Minute Hero. Uh, This game is so intense for the PSP that it only makes the battery life go for half a minute, so you have to beat all the final bosses in half a minute. It's really hard. It's a nine out of ten. Mod Racer... Mod Nation Racers. Mod Nation Racers is the game that I, I guess you mod stuff and some kind of nation. It's probably like that part in Mercenaries where you have a, a monster truck. 10 out of 10. Pipe Mania. Uh, in this game, you're playing as your grandpa, and you have to go down to your local pipe store and get all the best pipes and the best tobacco, and you have to get you have to smoke them all. Uh, get to the 8 out of 10. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Peace Walker is probably one of the better Metal Gear Solid games that's out. Uh, so it gets uh, probably 9 out of 10. Little Big Planet. Nope. Next, uh, number four, Wipeout Pulse. Wipeout Pulse is a game where you're a doctor who's not really interested in people being alive, so he wipes out people's pulse and subsequently kills them. He's a pretty bad guy, but it's a pretty good game. Ten out of ten. Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Uh, you and Goku, you have to fight through all the Budokai's and fight against the Shoguns and all the Skura Cherry Blossoms. And, and other Japanese things, and it's great. It's a 5 out of 10. Uh, number two, Worms Battle Island. Worms Battle Island is a game where you're on the worms, but you land on these places called the Battle Islands, which are scary, and there's fighting, and worms don't like that. They really don't. So it gets a 1 out of 10. Patapon 2. Uh, Papillon 2 is a sequel to the award-winning movie Papillon, uh, starring Dustin Hoffman and uh, Steve McQueen, about a French prisoner's escape from Hell Island. In this South America. I didn't know they made a sequel of it, but I heard it's probably pretty good. So it gets a 9 out of 10. And guys, that's we it. We did it. If you're listening to us, we love you. That's all there is to it. That's... Unless you hate it, then we hate you. But you know well, then what we I, then don't Then I would hate. ask why you're listening to us. That's true. But you know what nobody hates? What? what uh, I have a feeling that it might be Speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 games of 2012. As Do you want to read off the titles? Top 10 lists writers. Yeah, It's going to be these right here. Yeah. Number 10, Blue Gunstar Hero, Tribes Ascend. Uh, Tribes Ascend is a game where you're a member of the Jewish faith and you ascend to heaven. Pretty good game, pretty uh, pretty religious game. Oh, 10 the 10. first part is the writer. Yeah, it's the famous writer. Okay. The next one's a game. Okay, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> right. Number 9. Number 9, Dark Knight 109, Nintendo Land. Uh, Nintendo Land is a virtual theme park where you go play with all your favorite Mario guys but be careful to fall into lava because it'll void your insurance. Uh, so it gets a 2 out of 10. Number 8, Detroit... <laughs> Detroit, Detroit DJ, Journey, Journey, j- Journey. If he ever hurts you... 10 out of 10. Uh, number 7. <laughs> number 7, Igushi, Spec Ops The Line? Uh, Spec Ops The Line is you're trying to find a line, but it's real thin, thin line, and you're looking, but you might find it, if you're very careful. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo thing. Gotta have Spec Ops training. Exactly. Uh, gets a 9 out of 10. Number 6, High Winds 07, Pokemon Black 2 slash White 2. Black 2 White is the is the sequel to Fast 2 Furious 2, and you're speed racing around as Racer X in the Pokemon game, and you're doing great. 1 out of 10. Number 5, Keyblade 999, Paper Mario, Sticker Star. Uh, in this game, Mario does such a great job on his homework that he gets Gold Star. So it gets Gold Star out of 10. Number four, Nazi F poor Dishonor. Dishonor is a game where he plays an assassin who doesn't have much honor. So I, well, actually he did, but now he doesn't. I guess you're gonna find out how. I don't know. One out of ten. Number three, Scarlet Speed Seven. These all sound like dating profile names. <laughs> Borderlands Two. Borderlands Two is your second time back to Borderlands. Uh, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of stuff. It's got the wacky characters that we all know and love. They're getting wackier by the second. Wacky, wacky, wacky. Gets a wacky out of ten. Number two, where's Atari? Tales of Grace's F. Tales of Grace's F is a... I don't, I don't no, know. No, seriously, it says... <laughs> like, he writes it a few times. I guess it's what it's called. Tales of Grace's F. That's the name. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to talk about that. One out of ten. Whoa. Oh, is this name for real? <laughs> oh, dude. Number one, Yo 
D-O-Y. I think that's like one of those faces. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's how a shoujo a game I've actually played. Yeah, no I don't way. know. I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's a Japanese dating sim. Uh, so you probably got to date all the girls. Uh, so it's going to be great. Everyone loves Listen, girls. Listen, it was a... Girls, girls, girls. Oh, it was a and that's it, guys. Sim. We did it this we time. Did it. Yeah, dude. We're here to accept you. Dude, you know what else that they should accept from us? I don't know. Speed, Speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 most unexpected games in a series. What? Number 10, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. In Metroid Prime you're playing is Optimus Prime, the first Metroid. He's a robot, he's a truck, 10 out of 10. Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts. This is a hard hitting game about the life in a mental institution as Banjo and Kazooie must overcome the horrors of schizophrenia and another mental illness. It's a 2 out of 10. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is the only Resident Evil game most people have ever played and will ever need to play. 10 out of 10. Fantasy Star Online. In this game, you get to pretend that you're playing on a star on a computer online. It's totally nuts. 10 out of 10. Kelowna Beach Volleyball. Kelowna Beach Volleyball, you're a cat with a hat with a hairdo who likes to fly with his ears, I guess. I don't know how that helps a volleyball player, but I gotta imagine it's useful. 10 out of 10. Luigi's Mansion. Mamma Mia, there are ghosts everywhere. I gotta suck them up with this vacuum. 9 out of 10. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog is Sonic's brother. He likes to run around just as fast, but he's got a gun where he shoots uh, the Sonics, the hedgehogs, until they're all blue. Whatever. 1 out of 10. Dirge of Cerberus. Final Fantasy 7. Uh, in Dirge of Cerberus, you have to compose a dirge. Uh, you don't know that you're secretly writing for your rival, Salieri, but it ends up taking the toll, and you, then you end up dying. Uh, it gets a Mozart out of 10. Uh, number two, Metal Gear Acid. Metal Gear Acid was secretly awesome. Also had a really hot girl in it who I don't remember the name of, so it's got to get a 12 out of 10. Mega Man Battle Network. God, I love Battle I was going to say, Tom really likes this game a lot, so I'm going to give it an 11 out of 10 just for him. Nice. All right, guys. We'll we see you it. next week. <laughs> um... But now that now that we did say something about perverted pictures, though, I think that, that it only means one thing: speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top ten most intriguing things you can eat in video games. So AKA, we're game. just going to say the names of the game. <laughs> uh, number ten, Popeye. Popeye's the game he plays. Popeye's got big old arms, big old chin, big old nose, and he talks like a mumbo the mumbo. So one out of ten. Mega Man Legends too. Uh, in this game, uh, it's Mega Man versus League of Legends. And all the little bots are fighting against Mega Man's Buster Cannon. Who's going to win? Who knows? Uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud's a game where you're going to rain soon, probably. But not yet. It's just kind of an omen, which I like. I like that kind of subtle thing. So 9 out of 10. Uh, Wind Waker. Let's resolve it. Uh, in Wind Waker, you have to go ride your boat to wake up the wind because it's overslept for work. And if it's late again, uh, the, uh, Mr. Twilliger is going to fire it. Uh, number Oh, sorry. 6 out of 10. Number six, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a game where I think you solve mysteries in a dungeon. That's all I got. One out of ten. Pac-Man. Gets a five out of ten. Uh, Zork 2, The Wizard of Froboz. I gotta be honest, there's a lot of misleading things in this title. Because first of all, I would have assumed Zork 2 was like a caveman situation. Now we got wizards. Too much to deal with. It gets a 10 out of 10. Uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Uh, you play poker for gold and silver in the Wild West. And uh, you got to beat Pikachu in the hand of Texas Hold'em. It's a 9 out of 10. Uh, Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3, I think they mean Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I'm not sure. If they do, 6 is one of the best Final Fantasy you're ever going to play. So play it, 10 out of 10. Super Mario Bros. 3D Land. Uh, in Super Mario Bros. 3D Land, uh, Super Mario jumps into the third dimension, but he's still two-dimensional. Uh, he's only one-dimensional because he doesn't have any character depth. It's a 1 out of 10. We did it. Guys. It hurts me to know that you only love the Suns because of speed, speed reviews. reviews. Guys, this is the top 10 greatest games of humanity as chosen by Yahoo UK and Ireland Games. What a treat. 2006. Great. What a treat. Number 10, Elite. Oh, the legendary Acorn Soft title from 1984? This is the game where you play as some guy who's elite. You probably, you know, are better than other people. That's what the word means. It's probably, it's one of the best games of all time, 10 out of 10. Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2. Uh, this, is the, this is the second game in the ser- series of popular Hadouken games. Uh, Hadouken, Hadouken, Shoryuken. Uh, gets a Hadouken out of 10. Uh, number 8, Goldeneye 007. Goldeneye 007, you play as Jaws, and you fight against Odd Job, and you go against that other guy who is played by that guy who dies in every movie, and then there's Pierce Brosnan, and 
and that's everything. 10 out of 10. Super Mario Kart. Uh, this is uh, what happens when regular Mario Kart hears the distressed cry of someone uh, getting robbed. He runs into a telephone booth. He strips off into Super Mario Kart and saves the day. It's a 9 out of 10. Uh, Monkey Island 2. See, I didn't like this because I felt that everything that could be accomplished in Monkey Island 1 was done. Like, you get there, there's an island that's covered in monkeys. Why do you need a sequel? You nailed it the first time. It gets a 1 out of 10. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I'll be honest, I like Wind Waker better. 6 out of 10. Number 4, Pro Evolution Soccer 4. Yeah, I'm sure there's a soccer game on the top list of all time. Especially at number 4. Yeah, especially Pro Pro Evolution Soccer, the fourth one, deserves to be on the list. Not any other ones, just the fourth one. That one, they really nailed it, but then after that, they stopped nailing it, I guess. I don't know. That's ridiculous. 0 out of 10. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon is a great game. Uh, you collect your little monsters, and you have them battle in a kind of video game cockfight simulator. So it gets a 7 out of 10. Uh, number two, Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 was the first game I ever got on Super Nintendo, and you run around as Mario, and it's got a lot of stuff to do, and you gotta get Yoshi, and you gotta get Luigi, and you gotta get all the stars, and you gotta get all the coins, and you gotta get all the mushrooms, and you gotta get all the flowers, and you gotta get all the other stuff, and they're painting, and it's really fun. One out of ten. Tetris. Uh, Tetris, uh, bl- uh, it's it's basically uh, the world is falling, but with Legos, and you gotta stack them up, and you gotta put the T's in with the L's and the F's, and it's actually just a prequel to FTL. Most people don't know that. Weird. Anyway, it's a 9 out of 10. And that's it, guys. We did it. We love you. And since we love you so much, we're going to give you exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. That's right. We're going to give you the speed Speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 greatest games of man kind time brought to you by edge magazine from yeah. 2009 edge magazine number number 10 Don't, it's going remember, yeah number 10 it. super mario world 2 yoshi's island yoshi's island is a game he plays yoshi and he got a baby mario and he's flying around he's got bubbles and eggs and there's all sorts of stuff in these little guys it's funny art style it's a pretty good game eight out of ten halo three uh you're three times an all out of angel and you have to use to fight off three devils at the same time uh 10 out of 10 Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy, you're driving around in a galaxy, the the, the one uh, minivan, you're Mario, but it's not Mario Kart, big difference. He's just driving, picking up his kids. It's a really nice game, 5 out of 10. Tetris. Blocks, 5 out of 10. Number 6, Super Mario World. Super Mario World's best Mario game there is. It's on Super Nintendo, and you jump, and you fly, and you ride a Yoshi. So it gets 10 out of 10. Legend of Zelda, Link of the Past. Whoa, whoa, hold, hold on. The guy's name is Link. What? What? 10 no, out of 10. That's got to be a typo. Kudos. Number 4, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is really, 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 really fun. 10 out of 10. Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 is a game that I never played, but Tom said it's really good, so I'll take his word for it and give it a 1 out of 10. Uh, number 2, Super Mario World 64. Super Mario 64 is a game that's just like Super Mario Galaxy, except it's much, much smaller. It doesn't take place in the galaxy. It takes place in one place. 10 out of 10. Let us know. Ocarina of Time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What? His name is Ocarina. What? This is... Oh, that's, man. This got to be a typo. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. I feel like there's something we're missing, something we have to do. I haven't forgotten about anything. Really? What? What is it then? Maybe you can help remind me. Oh, wait. I think I know what it is. Oh, yeah. Is it's it speed, speed reviews. reviews. Tom, this is the top 10 greatest lists of humanity from Unic Gamer. I guess you can only review things after you have your balls cut off. I guess. Uh, at, from February 2012. Number 10, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, the only Uncharted game I ever played. It was actually pretty fun. So it gets a 10 out of 10. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is a game where you're a guy who uses guns to slow down time. It's like a bullet time game. Uh, it's actually just Max Payne. It gets a 9 out of 10. Uh, number 8, Portal. Portal's a game where you fall through a hole and you end up in another hole. It's pretty simple, but I think it's also how human life was born. Weird, right? 10 out of 10. Metal Gear Solid. This physics puzzler shows how gears work and how the solid gears move machines and machine cogs move move other machines. It gets a 10 out of 10. Number 6, Mass Effect. Mass Effect's number 6 on the list of best games of all time. Weird, right? I only give it a 3 out of 10. Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is great. 10 out of 10. Uh, number 4, Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy 7 is probably the best Final Fantasy game. It's my favorite, personally. You can't really argue that. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Half-Life 2. Uh, Half-Life 2 is a game that's all about... It's it's in the same vein as Metal Gear Solid because it's a chemistry simulator. It tells you the half-lights of certain radioactive isotopes and you have to guess what they are and use mathematical equations. It's really an in-depth game. It's an 8 out of 10. Number 2, Mass Effect 2. Really, guys? Hey, Unit Gamer. Next time, don't put two Mass Effect games on the top list of games of all time. Mass Effect 2 is even worse than one, a lot of people would say. What are you talking about? I probably wouldn't say that. One out of ten. F off. 
Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, Ocarina of Time is supposedly the greatest Zelda game of all time but I still prefer Wind Waker so it gets a 7 out of 10 nice and we'll see you guys you know still here you know what else is still here guys it's the speed, speed reviews. reviews this is the top 10 greatest games of all time brought to you by pal GN from 2005 great number 10 Burnout 3 Takedown Burnout 3 Takedown is a game that came before Burnout Paradise and it was pretty good and I had a lot of fun with it 8 out of 10 Half-Life 2 Half-Life 2 is about the world's most talkative man Gordon Freeman now he chats the ears off of all the enemies he comes across talk 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 ain't got that guy to shut up it's 9 out of 10 uh, number eight, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is a game that I never knew what it was about. I never knew why it was called Metal Gear Solid until I played it, and then I barely knew, and I still don't know why it's called Solid. But anyway, it's a 10 out of 10. Tetris. Uh, Tetris is a game where you throw bricks through your neighbor's window, and they get really mad, and your mom crowns you for a week. It's a 1 out of 10. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you're going to steal whole faults, and you're going to make a sweet earthquake, and you're going to have the exact opposite side of the earth. is going to get one, too, and the core is going to get in a slightly different rotation. It's going to suck. <laughs> 0 out of 10. Super Mario 64. Uh, Super, uh, Mario jumps into cloning bats, and there are 64 of them, but you have to figure out which is the real one, because they're all fighting for that Princess Peach. Oh, yeah. I'll get a 7 out of 10. Uh, number four, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is a really fun game. You got Shoot, and you got Leon Cannon, you got uh, the, the Ada Wong, and you got that Ashley chick, and everybody's having fun. You get a 10 out of 10. Final Fantasy 7. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 is probably, like, the biggest reason that American people like swords. 10 out of 10. Uh, number two, GoldenEye, 007. GoldenEye is probably the number one reason American people like GoldenEye. So it gets a 1 out of 10. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I say it every time, but I still like Wind Waker more. It gets a 1 out of 10. We All did right, guys, it. See you later. We did it.